I bet you all had a very loud, hard laugh when that buffalo took its poop in the water. Very disgusting buffalo, wasn't it? Look at this spectacular, spectacular creature. And I bet there's some of you going, Oh, careful, it's going to bite you. Look, it's coming towards me. Hello, my dear. Hello, how are you? It's lovely to see you. This is a mantis, everybody. And the mantis, although she's a predator, and that means she will eat other insects, she's not really harmful to me. She could possibly create a little bit of damage to my skin. If you look at the front of her legs there, she's got quite nasty claws, so she might open them as I move my finger towards her. Come on, open up. There you can see them. And she's sometimes called a praying mantis, and you can see why. Doesn't it look like she's praying? And she's just sitting on me because, well, I think she's quite comfortable there. You see, I had my I had my bath before I came to work today, and so obviously I'm not too smelly today. That's a good thing, don't you think? All right, let's leave her there. She's really very pretty. In fact, let's keep looking at her for now. <laughs> Dage, you wonder why it is that we do this show. Well, Dage, uh, uh, there are different reasons for why we do this show. You can see my back. I'm sorry I'm not looking at you. It's a little bit difficult because you're looking at the mantis. Uh, Dage, we, don't, we do this show because we enjoy it and because, well, you're in school, right? And there are lots of people in the United States and all around the world who can't be in Africa. And yet... Africa is very interesting to lots and lots of people. And now, these days, with the internet the way it is, we can help people. <gasps> it's sneaking up on me. Look how it's sneaking up on my, on my neck. It's going to touch me. Ooh. Ooh. Now, Angeli, you're wondering if the mantis bites. No, it doesn't bite. But it can scratch with those claws, but it won't scratch me. It's not trying to hurt me. So I just want to quickly finish Gage's story there. So there are lots of people around the world, Gage, who want to see Africa, but, you know, sometimes they can don't have enough money to come here, or sometimes they just will never have the opportunity to travel to Africa. And so we do this show to show them Africa every single day. Isn't that cool? Look, she's cleaning, cleaning her legs. Oh, this is wonderful. And look at her eyes. She's now looking backwards with the one eye. Oh, I think this is very, very special, everybody. She is a beautiful mantis, and she's obviously not very young. You can see she's missed her one piece of antenna there. I don't know if you can see that. The left antenna is missing a piece. Uh, Gage, you're wondering what she eats. Well, like I said, Gage, she eats other insects. She's a predator. So she will catch things like flies and butterflies, and sometimes she'll catch things like other mantises. And you know what? The female mantises like to eat the males. So the mummy mantises eat the daddy mantises, which is not great, is it? It's really not very nice. But she's not going to try and eat me, I don't think. What do you think? Do you think she's going to try and eat me? Depends if we get married or not. I suppose it does depend if we get married, says Fergus. Good. Now that is the mantis. We're going to leave her right there. And from this rather unattractive sort of a beaker, if you like, we've got a worm. And we're going to put the worm under the microscope. Now the microscope is huge fun because we can look at things in amazing detail. Let me just move it quickly so we can get a nice picture of this funny worm. Oh. Now, this thing looks like a worm, doesn't it? Well, it is a worm to some extent, but it is actually a larva, and that means that it's like a caterpillar. And one day you will learn how it is that a caterpillar becomes a moth or a butterfly. And sometimes things like beetles, well, they also make a worm like this before they become adult beetles. Now, if you look very carefully in there, you can see the bits and pieces moving inside the caterpillar. Isn't that amazing? I think that's very special. I'm just going to push him up a bit. 
Isn't that astounding? That's very special. So he's digesting, just like you are digesting your breakfast right now, and it's passing through your stomach, and the various bits and pieces of what is known as your digestive tract, well, that's what's happening right here with this quite astonishing little worm, which is actually probably going to be either a beetle or a moth. I think that's very special. Now, my friend Jamie Patterson is also out at the moment, and she had a very special time with some elephants yesterday. So 